Yeah. Hell fucking yeah, you could turn a hoe into a housewife. Because listen, I said this before, most housewives are hoes. That's what dudes don't get. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You definitely could turn a hoe into a housewife. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Mm-hmm. Or she often go to the street because you know you can't be on point one hundred percent of the time. But what? But we and got. But we got to. But we got to define what is. It, what does it mean to, to to go to the streets? We got to define that. Like what is that specifically? You talk, What is? Okay. You see what I'm saying? Entertaining Give me. other dudes, entertaining other dudes, fucking other dudes, mm. or or just you know just entertaining uh, other dudes besides yourself. Well, see that that okay. So now what you got to understand is is that that is. That is part of, um, you know, that's part, that's because part, partly is, is if your girl is doing that in certain situations, it's partly your fault because you have to, this is what you got to look at. If, if you're in a, if you're in the, the context of a, you know, monogamous situation, right? What happens is, is that whenever a woman strays or wants to, to, to fuck around with somebody else in most cases, you know, because, you know, you got situations where the chick she's just you know she just got susceptible to some other niggas game and it is what it is right but in general women always are looking at uh their options so let's say for example a woman is in a relationship with a guy she's she's in a, a monogamous relationship with a dude and and other dudes is trying to get at her what what she's doing is is that she's looking at she's looking at uh the difference between her man and the other guys she's like is it is it worth me getting with this other guy at the expense of losing my man? Do you understand what I'm saying? Is it worth right. to stick with my man? If and if if and if it is, then I don't need. To, I'm not going to really deal with other guys. So so the thing is, a lot of times guys end up they end up slacking in their situation as far as management with the chick, uh, being on top of their shit and all that other stuff. Um, and then this is what makes the woman stray and look just like for, for exa- guys are the same way. If you with your girl and she was fit, looking good and all of that cooperative. And then she starts, you know, gaining weight. She starts being uncooperative. Mm-hmm. You're going to start looking, you're going to start looking at other right. shit. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But so, so there's, so basically you answer my, there's always going to be, she, she's always going to try to venture to that. I well, not, but not, but well, not necessarily. Example, That's what I'm saying. Not necessarily. If I, I you're on point, she, she might I'm not. Show an example. You know what I'm like Puff Daddy, right? Puff mm-hmm. Daddy got everything, mm-hmm. but he still lost. He still lost cash. How? What are you saying? How? It's easy, simple. Because what you got to understand is, is that <clears throat> P, no, you don't even know if P, P Diddy has everything. You don't know if P Diddy got game. P Diddy got money, fame, and all that other shit. But but Cassie has also been in the game for years. Cassie's not no like average chick off the street. Cassie been in the industry for a minute, so all that shit cancel out. So the thing is, is that um, it's not that all of that shit ain't ain't, ain't um, that's not impressive to a chick like her because she used to that shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. So the thing is, is that that's why she again. This is what I'm talking about. This is why game is so important because. Again, it's that emotional investment. It's the emotional attachment. It's that it's that thing that says she's got to think and say, I can't get what I'm getting from this guy somewhere else. Or if I do fuck up, I may be fucking up this thing I have with this guy. So that's what makes her think twice. Because understand, it's natural for a woman to you know think about being with other dudes. Or wanting attention from other dudes, just like the Aisha Curry shit and the and the uh, other chick that was married to Boris Kojo or whatever. They always are gonna want up attention from other guys. Th- that's never gonna go away, right? Now, right. whether or not they they act on that, meaning step out to do something, depends on how valuable or how much she values the guy she's with, and how much she values the guy she's with usually is based off of. How valuable he is, meaning what what is he what what is he doing in the relationship, or how much 
uh, you know, game or, you know, uh, that he that he instilled in this woman to where she's that attached to him. Because if he's if she's that attached to him, it's again, like I said earlier, it's going to be harder for her to bounce. You see what I'm saying? So, again, right. they'll still think about it. They'll still wonder about it because it's just natural. But to, to say necessarily that, well, you know, it's impossible because the chick's going to belong to the streets and she's going to go out there and always fuck with another dude. That's not necessarily true. The, usually what happens is that she'll end up bouncing and leaving because the guy she's with is slacking. That's that's usually what happens. So what I'm saying is a, a lot of guys say, well, if she if she if she meets a guy who's better, she's just going to jump. No. If you become the guy that's better, she's going to stay. But guys don't want to be better. They want, they think, oh, well, I, see, and this is the problem with a lot of guys with game or, or thinking about game. You can't rest in this shit. There's no resting. This shit is 24 right. hours a day, seven days a week. You have to be on top of this shit. So when guys get with a woman, they say, well, she's my girl. She's my wife. So I could just kick back and relax. No, you still got to be on. You understand? And, and in yeah. fact, you got to be on even more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but um, explain this to me, and and you know I never understood this, mm. and this kind of happened to me before. Right, is when you when you do recognize that you're slipping up, mm. and you make a conscious effort to to change it, uh-huh. and she sees that that you're making a conscious effort to change it, mm. it. But why do they run in the opposite direction when they see that you that that you know what? Hey, you know what? I realize that. I need to change something. And then mm. when you do make that change and they recognize that you are trying to make that change, mm. they run. Why is mm. that? Well, because well, usually it's because you 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 either took too long to recognize you needed to make that change or you're not mm. consistent in making the change. So what what it is is that if you took too long to make the change, what it seems like is that you knew you were supposed to make the change but you wasn't. And then what happens is is that if you if you're if you're and then you have the other situation where you're changing, but you're not really you're not really consistent. So, for example, and, and, and so that within itself makes the woman question you. So, for example, let's say you and her on a, on a ship or a boat or some shit and the boat is it has a hole in it. So it's, it's starting to sink. So you got to attend to that now. You understand what I'm saying? And so mm-hmm. imagine you just like, oh, yeah, I see the boat sinking. I'll get to it tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe, you know, next week I'll get. And so, you know, what's supposed to happen, but you ain't getting to it. So now she's like, the shit is fucking sinking. I need to I need to get somewhere else. Or you might be fixing a boat, but you you do like you do like, you know, half of it now. Then you slack on it next week. Then you do another half later or another, you know, one third later. And then you come back like you're not consistent with the shit. You see what I'm saying? And so this is what I'm saying, where the shit has to be on point at all times. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's just like this. Like, for example, like, for example, when I do my bad boy membership, right, um, programs, I, I, I always have them drop on the first. Right. Um, and and th- there's if there's never even there's been times where I actually had to record the shit while I was sick. You understand what I'm saying? So. My customers who who purchase my shit, they don't give a fuck if I'm sick or tired or whatever. Now I could tell them that, and they could probably be like, "Okay, cool, you know, we get it. We'll we'll give you you know a little bit of time. We got you." But in general, all they worry about is on the first. They want they want their fucking game. They want the shit. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's all they're looking for. So I got to make sure I'm always on point, you know, all the time. You see what I'm saying? To keep those customers there. You see what I mean? And the same thing happens. Yeah for relationships and also the same thing happens for women on the flip side so this, this is not just a a woman doing it to a man thing it's a man also doing it to a woman thing the, why you think it's why you think you got so many women out here that complain about not being able to find a good man or keep a man because most of them their game sucks and they don't know how to actually keep the shit consistent and make the shit mm-hmm. go down to the point where they're going to be able to keep a guy interested and the same thing happens right, for men right. we a lot of men don't know how to do the shit to keep the woman interested because this is what it fundamentally comes down to. It's not about, it's not about you. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that when your woman is with you, when your woman is loyal to you, when your woman is in a relationship with you, when your woman has been with you for years, it's not about you. It's not even about you. It's about her. It's about you are benefiting her on a consistent basis, which is why she is there and vice versa. 
You understand? As soon as there is no benefit to her being with you, that's when she's going to go, right? Now, when I was talking about earlier with her being emotionally attached and all of that other stuff, right? What happens is, is that when she's emotionally attached, right? That's because that's of, you know, either it could have been years or, or months or wh wh however much time and energy that has been, in, that has been uh, you know, shared between you two to create that bond to where it's hard for her to go. So even when you are slipping up, this is why you'll have time to to make it make it up and make shit happen because that emotional attachment is the thing that's keeping her there. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it's slowly slipping away because the benefits that she may see to be with you are slowly slipping away. You understand? The thing that's keeping her there is the emotional attachment. You see what I'm saying? That's why I said that it's not usually going to be some random dude is going to pop up and she's going to go. Usually it takes a while. But if it seems like it happened like this, that means her emotional attachment has diminished already. It's been diminishing and you just didn't know it. This is why sometimes guys be like, yo, out of the blue, she just bounced. No, it wasn't really out of the blue. It's just you didn't realize six months, a year passed, and that whole year she was already thinking about bouncing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, I know exactly. No, I, I, I mean, it's it's twice as hard when you're watching it, mm -hmm. when you know it, it when you, you've been, you know, you've seen it so much, like in the game, right? And you see it happening, right? And 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 all of a sudden, it, it becomes like a free train. You're like, man, you know what? Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Now she's like calling me and saying, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm working late, and, and you just uh -huh. see the shit. <laughs> And, and and the more you try to stop it, it seems like the train just. I mean, the, somebody presses the accelerator on you. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> that well, that's the thing. Sometimes you're gonna have to see. Sometimes you go. I, I did a video a long time ago about this where I said sometimes you're gonna have to charge a chick to the game because you fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You got to throw the whole situation away because you fucked up. And and because it's, sometimes it's there's there's no turning back to even save it because it's already. You know, too far gone. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It's too far gone, and yeah, so but when you have kids involved, sometimes it makes it a little bit mm. like dicier. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Uh, of course, of yeah. course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, it, it's it's just a it, it's just like man. You know, it, it, when you look back at it, sometimes you're like, man. You know what? Is there anything I could have did to stop it, or is it she was just for the streets, or just no? But know, that's but that's, that's what I'm but for. that's what I'm saying. It's not see. Guys be thinking that there's this difference like, oh, well, this girl's for the streets and this girl's the good girl who's going to be. No, no, no. It's all the same shit. Every, every woman will, will be susceptible to all of this shit. It's, this is, there's no thing where it is this like, there's this like uh, one type of girl where you could just chill and she's just going to be there. You understand what I'm saying? Part mm -hmm. of what makes her be, her, part of what makes her be there and continue to be there is because you're on point. So, oh, see, this is this is a this is how you guys can test how 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 good your game is, right? Just look at your woman, see how she's treating you. You understand what I'm saying? If she's yeah. treating you great and everything's on point and she's doing what she need to do and she's happy and all that other shit, your game is on point. You're doing great. You just got to keep that shit up. If you see she's starting to act a little funny style, and it, because remember. Her the way she's being is in, in in direct relation to the benefit she's receiving by fucking with you. So when she starts to see the benefits are dwindling, like you know, I'm not really there's nothing really here for me. That's when she starts acting up. When things are great, that's when she's all hugs and kisses and roses. So it's not a thing where oh this girl's for the street or this girl's not. It's how she's gonna act is in direct relation or correlation to your game and what you're doing. This is, what, this is what I'm trying to say. So like when dudes try to take it outside of themselves, that's when they be fucking up. That's when they, you know, when guys are trying to say, oh, well, this girl, she had a, a, a fucking high body count or she, you know, this girl did this and this girl. No, you're, you're looking outside of you because a dude could take a chick who has a high body count and have that chick cooperating, submitting, doing all the shit that she needs to do because he knows how to deal with that type of girl. You feel what I'm saying? Or he knows how to deal with well, girl, girl girls. Can <laughs> we say that again? So you can turn a hoe into a housewife. Hell fucking yeah, you can turn a hoe into a housewife. Because listen, I said this before, most housewives are hoes. That's what do so get. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You definitely could turn a hoe into a housewife. What? What? Oh my goodness. Listen, listen, listen. You, you got to understand something, man. Like, your your 
you're this is how powerful the game is, man. The way that you're able to to you, when you're able to influence and able to manage a situation with a woman, right? That's what the woman's looking for for as far as stability goes. See, women, women, the the the, the best type of guy, the, the perfect guy for a woman is a guy who she's sexually attracted to and also knows how to manage the relationship and bring resources in. You see what I'm saying? So if he if he can hit on all those cylinders, then she's like, she's she's on point. So it don't matter if she's a hoe, it don't matter if she's a slut, it don't matter if she's a virgin. If you are that type of guy who hits on all cylinders, she's good. You understand what I'm saying? She's cooperating, she's fucking making it happen. So a lot of guys think that, see what, what, what dudes, what dudes are doing is they're 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 trying to pick women based off of you know let's say for example you know simple example the body count okay well she has a low body count so i'm gonna pick her and she has a high body count so i'm not gonna pick her that shit don't mean nothing in the context of you being in a relationship and if that chick actually wants to um stay with you and be with you for the long term what determines if she's going to stay with you and be with you for the long term is what you're doing in the situation to create a situation for her to want to stay with you and be with you for the long term. That is it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I, I, I guess we get long into thinking that we, we build equity with some of these women. Right. You equity see? burns up real fast. Mm -hmm. You know, if you ain't doing your job. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like this. If you, if you don't go to the gym for six months, is, are you going to keep all your muscles and all that? Is, is, you know what I'm saying? No, you got to, yeah. you got to stay in the gym and maintain that shit and keep doing it shit every day. Same thing with a relationship. You can't keep a relationship with a woman and, and make the shit continue to flourish or whatever. If you're not on top of your shit every day. So it's not about her being some certain type of women. It's about you being a certain type of guy. You understand what I'm saying? That's, that's what yeah, it's about. Man. What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And what I want to talk about today is the Bad Boy Membership Contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the Bad Boy Membership Contest is to be a Bad Boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the Bad Boy Membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. So here's what you receive if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece. And a $100 gift card. To increase your chances of winning, share this post in your story, tag three friends, and subscribe to Mr. Lucario or the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. And follow real mr lucario and miles in the game on instagram the winner will be announced at the first of the month good luck click the link below and get your bad boy gear get the t-shirts submissive women are sexy binary as fuck and i'm god to these hoes click the link below to get your bad boy gear today now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.